it's a movie about memories and how memories we, we realize are, are, are kind of like a, just as sort of pleasantly excessive as ornaments that we decorate our homes with. These things that uh, we don't, I guess, necessarily need, maybe we do, but, but, but uh, it makes life so much better to have them. So I think a lot of the warmth comes from appreciating these memories. Atmosphere over character. The way in which I approach these movies is that I realized at some point that when you don't have a main character and you have just a camera that's curious about the environment and the people in it, sort of the camera becomes the main character. You know, the curiosity and the affection and a true wanting to just explore this world and the people in it is really the drive of these movies. One of our uh, biggest visual references is actually the Coca-Cola advertisements from the 50s. I think that this iconography is just really what we think of Christmas. It sort of feels like the birth of Christmas in ways. And I wanted that warmth and the sort of dreaminess of that visual language to be in the, in the film uh, deeply. And in terms of the music, the soundtrack was really inspired by Scorpio Rising by Kenneth Anger. And what's interesting about the music is, for one, it sounds like Christmas music, but it's, it's not. The casting process took many months, and it basically happened in two ways. One was searching through Backstage, which is a casting website, where I think Margot and I looked over a hundred thousand headshots, something like crazy like that. But for the most part, it was all done very much like a family affair. We, we all, the whole team, we all called up everyone we knew and said, do you know anyone who is interesting, who's funny? They don't have to be an actor. And in, in, in fact, it might be better if they never acted. And that's how we found most of the people in this film, many of which are our family members or friends of friends. And in some cases they are more um, familiar faces.